Today I'll be showing you my latest creation, the Proteus guitar pedal. The Proteus pedal is a new and improved version of Neural Pi, which can now run Proteus models. Now this is a device uh, that has similar capabilities to Neural DSP's Quad Cortex or uh, Tonex, where you can capture your own amplifier or pedal and, uh, and play it in real time using this pedal. So here's my setup. I have the Proteus pedal, which is running into my Blues Junior amplifier and recording with the SM57 microphone. And I'll be playing with my standard Telecaster. And then over here, I have a laptop for recording. And uh, this is the control app that I can select different models and uh, change various parameters like the gain, level, uh, there's a delay and reverb effect, and EQ settings. And this is also where you set uh, the IP address so that it knows how to communicate with the Raspberry Pi uh, over Wi-Fi. Now this uh, application has the capability of running impulse responses, which would be great for direct recording. But since I'm using my amplifier and a microphone, uh, I have that disabled. And the amplifier is at clean settings. So the layout of Proteus is very simple. It just has a volume knob. And the rest of it will be controlled from this NeuralPy application. All right, now for the fun part. I'll be doing a demo of um, several different neural network models based on real amplifiers and pedals. So the first one is a 1981 distortion pedal. 1981 is the name of the pedal. So this model is a, a condition model, so it's actually modeling the full range of the gain knob on this pedal, and I will adjust that here, max gain. And low gain. I also have a delay, I'll turn that on. Uh, so now let's select uh, an amplifier model. Let's see. So this is a 6505 at high gain settings snapshot model. Here's a Barber distortion pedal. Black Star Amplifier. This is a broadcast pedal.
Here's a Rev G4 pedal. This is a, a Rockman XPR, which is um, a Boston, the band, Boston Sound. labeled SLO Crunch. I don't know if it's a pedal or the Soldano uh, amplifier. This one was sent to me. High gain version. This is one that was actually captured from a uh, Fractal FM3 model of a Splon amplifier. And it sounds really good. This is uh, based on a Prince of Tone clone that I built. Um. And I also made a uh, guitar plugin of it called The Prince, and you can download that from my website. So now I'll go through the various components of the Proteus pedal and how it works. On the outside you have an uh, input jack and an output jack and a switch that lets you change between instrument level output and line level output. The line level is going to be louder. Uh, all you have on the top is a volume knob and a foot switch. The green LED indicates activity on the Raspberry Pi, and the blue LED indicates bypass or uh, going through the effect if it's on. On the bottom, I have the USB port of the Raspberry Pi, and I currently have a, a Wi-Fi adapter sticking out of there to help uh, boost the Wi-Fi signal when it's communicating with the app. I originally wanted to do a 9 volt power supply which I have covered up with some electrical tape uh, but when I used an adapter to convert that 9 volts to 5 volts for the Raspberry Pi it created a lot of noise so I ended up going with the standard uh, Raspberry Pi power supply which provides 5 volts um, and will also power the buffer on the inside. Alright, let's, uh, oh, uh, these were done with stamps 
in keeping with the, the water theme of Proteus, I went with a fish. So let's open it up. All right, there's the inside. So the main components in here are the Raspberry Pi with the Hi-Fi Berry audio hat on it. Um, we have the, the foot switch connection. We have a buffer circuit and an output attenuator, which lets me switch between instrument or line level. And then the connections between the input and output and then the, the potentiometer. So I will just run through what the audio signal is, is doing in this pedal. So first, uh, the audio comes from your guitar into the input jack. So I'll just make a diagram here. So you have your guitar and the signal goes into the input and then is connected uh, through the um, through the foot switch goes into the audio buffer. And this buffer circuit is based on the same one that's used in a Klon. It's just a nice clean buffer. And like I said, it's being powered only by five volts, which later on I'd like to have it uh, running at nine volts so you have more headroom. But if you just have your guitar plugged into this, it's it works just fine. So there's the buffer. Like I said it's the Klon style buffer. Um, and what's that? What that's doing is it makes if you plug directly into the the hi-fi berry, you lose a lot of tone. It sucks out the tone, so you have to have a buffer in your input. So that your tone is maintained. So from the buffer, you're going into the Hi-Fi Berry hat. And that is a, a digital, or an, an analog to digital, and then digital back to analog uh, audio card. So from the buffer, the audio signal is going in. That's this Let's see, yeah, that's this white wire right here. That's the input signal. And the Hi-Fi Berry is converting that into a digital signal. So up until this point, the signal is all analog. Once it hits the Hi-Fi Berry, it becomes a digital signal. So from there, it goes into the Raspberry Pi input, which is a Raspberry Pi 4 which is the latest one that they have out now. And the Raspberry Pi is what's running uh, Elk Audio OS, the operating system. And it also has the uh, Neural Pi uh, VST plugin, which I call this pedal Proteus because it runs Proteus models, but in reality it's running uh, a modified version of Neural Pi. And that is what's running our neural network model. And any other number of effects, I have a delay and a reverb and a four band EQ in this app as well. So that does all the processing and it receives uh, OSC messages so that it controls the various parameters and um, changes the sound. So from there, uh, it sends, after it's done processing the signal, it sends it back to the Hi-Fi Berry, which converts it back to an analog signal. So this is now an analog signal, which goes through our uh, volume knob and the attenuator for um, line level or instrument level. Volume, attenuator. And all that's doing is controlling uh, the level of the signal. 
And then from there, it goes out the output, one fourth jack to your amplifier. And that is this pedal in a nutshell. Now, this is still very much a work in progress. There's a lot that I would like to do with this, including updating the software, adding more knobs, maybe a display so that you can tell uh, what model you have loaded. Um, so stay tuned for more updates and uh, thank you for watching.